Hey there, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I'm doing, I guess, sort of a vlog style video. I've got a, a two hour strolling event and I'm gonna show you kind of how I prepare, what I'm bringing to the event. Again, it is a strolling gig, so this will be kind of what I pack for strolling and uh, we'll make a little vlog out of it. A lot of people have asked, well, what do you do for strolling? What, get, what tricks do you pack and things of that nature? So that's what this video will be about. It's gonna be shot a little less um, high quality than before. This is just on my iPhone. So let me know in the comments below, is this something that you guys enjoy? Do you wanna see more of this sort of real world raw or do you prefer me sitting at the computer sort of discussing things? But let me know in the comments and let's dive right in. Let me show you what, um, I haven't packed it up yet. So I'm gonna show you uh, the props that I lay out before I pack, kind of double and triple check they're all there. Then I'll show you what case I bring to my scrolling gigs. Don't come along for the ride. Hope it helps you. All right, so here it is sort of laid out, just double checking everything's there. Over here, I've got, um, this is coins. So this is just uh, four coins and a shell. This is uh, obviously a quiver. I actually don't use the quiver. I just use this to carry the coins. So that's for my coin work. Obviously in case of emergency, I've got, these are the four that I usually bring with me. Um, I'm five lighters. So I've got the uh, sort of the interrupting lighter. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Uh, how much does a polar bear weigh? And I've got the Banksy and the color changing lighter routine. This is a rising card. This is a, a really cool animated rising card. Um, two Sharpies. I've got one that I carry, one for backup. Then I've got this, which is color psychology, which is not out yet, but uh, will be out soon from us here at Bullpine. Great little strolling or stand-up piece. So the nice thing about this is I can do it strolling, but if I get to that moment in the show where they say, oh, one more for the group, then I can pull this out. Also why I've got this, which is Celebrity Smartass by Bill Abbott. Same idea. I probably won't perform this in strolling, but if we get to a moment where it's, hey, there's a group, do one more before you leave, this thing is perfect. It plays huge and very, very little space. So it's that deck of cards and this, and that's all the room that it takes. I've got a large jumbo twisted sister. I love this to grab attention if I'm standing at the head of a table. It plays really well. This is what, where, when, why. So I'll bring the what, where, when, why wallet. I got four decks of cards, which is a mental photo, an invisible deck, and two standard decks. So that's for two hours. I usually bring one deck per hour. I do a lot of in case of emergency, so the decks will dwindle down. That's why I bring two, uh, usually one per hour. Under that is Jao Miranda's amazing pocket watch, which I absolutely kill with this thing. I'll put this in my uh, breast, or in the inside jacket pocket so they can see the chain dangling down. It's a really, really cool piece. So uh, bringing that out. Actually, uh, this was faulty and Ja was super nice about making sure I got um, everything fixed in a timely manner. So thanks Ja, appreciate it. Uh, rope routine. So I do uh, a standard rope routine and that comes with me for every strolling gig. That's basically it. That's gonna be my, my nest egg for this event. Again, two hours of strolling. This is basically everything I've got. And then I will show you sort of where it goes, what I bring it in. Um, the things that I know for sure that I'm going to be doing right off the bat. What, where, when, why, in case of emergency, coins, rope, playing cards, color psychology, and lighters. Those are all gonna go in a big freezer plastic bag. That way they're all together in my case. I don't have to go hunting around for them. And I know, hey, if I get there, I'm running late, something happens, I can pull that out and I'm good to go. The other props, they go into different pockets in the bag. I'll bring you over to the bag. It's a very simple bag. Uh, I got this at Staples, but it's got a lot of pockets. It's got an open pocket here in the front. It's got a close-up pocket here so I can hide you know, close up things that I need to grab. It's got some slit pockets in it so I can do my uh, rising card. I can also put, uh, in, I'm sorry, not in case of emergency, I can put a uh, celebrity smart ass in there and it doesn't get messed up. And then it's got two more slot pockets. The nice thing is this one opens really wide. So if I ever have to bring a speaker, my speaker actually fits in that. And the cool thing about this, it costs like 60 bucks and I've used it for like three or four years now. So uh, side story. That's the uh, Swiss Army logo, which is also the Swiss Army logo for the color changing knives. So we borrowed that from there, but that's it. I'm just gonna load everything in there. Everything I know that I'll use, I'll put into a freezer bag, put in this pocket here. Celebrity Smartass will go in here and that's it. I bring this to the gig. It's got a little roller. So it works really, really well. Um, again, it was like 50 or 60 bucks and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be my scrolling set. So 
Everything you see there will fit into that. It takes me about 15 minutes to you know, pull it out, make sure it's all there, double and triple check everything, throw it in the bag and I'm good to go. Hope that helps somebody out there. So that's just a really quick overview of what I'm bringing for my close-up gig today. I hope that helps somebody out there. Obviously, close-up magic is a very personal choice, but you know, hopefully that, that steers somebody in the right direction who may be wondering, what can you bring to a strolling gig? Again, it's a two hour gig, two hours at a restaurant, so it'll be just fun. You know, These restaurant gigs, there's no event planner staring over your shoulder. It's not an uptight group of people. It's people out there for a winter carnival looking to have some fun. So everything I showed you there, and then I may go through my um, creative development sort of section of my office and see if there's one or two items I can bring out um, just to road test. If I get a group that's really fun, I'll show them some class A magic, and then I might say to them, hey, do you wanna see something brand new? And that's the way I'm gonna introduce a few items that'll be coming out later this year, just to, to get a feel for it and to start the routining. And just by letting them know, hey, this is brand new. Do you wanna see something that may or may not work? But again, that's that's gonna be depending on the audience and, and what their mood is and, and how they play back and forth with me. So hope that helps. Uh, I know deciding what you're gonna bring for close up can be a daunting thing. But really, it shouldn't be just, you know, remember that the goal is to have fun, do what you do the best, do what you've got scripted out and do what you know that while you're performing will allow you to relate to the audience, get to know them a bit and humanize yourself to them. So hope that helps. Until next time, friends, onward.